Hi Sag, Happy New Year Sagittarius. This is going to be your love message on this channel for the beginning of January 2022. It's good primarily for Sun, Rising, Moon, Venus, and Mercury placement of Sagittarius in tropical astrology. As always, keep in mind, what do we say? This is a general reading. It's not a personal reading meant for just one person, so it might not resonate with everyone that watches. Check out my other channel, Soma Chandra Tarot, where I read from Aries to Pisces. Check your other placements on that channel. You could find messages there that you need if this does not resonate. If you'd like to book a private reading with me that isn't general but is personal and just for you the link to my website is down in the description below this video but and if you're new welcome to Soma Chandra Libra but don't let the name fool you I read for Libra and Sagittarius on this channel and again I read for all 12 zodiac signs on my other channel Soma Chandra Tarot and right now it's Soma Chandra Sagittarius my favorite fire sign I feel like you guys are going into the new year with some good energy I've really liked the last couple of love messages I've put out for you. Check out your January forecast on my other channel as well. It looked really good. I feel like you guys have been in a good vibe. I think it's been tough, but I think you're open to new possibilities. You are going to go with the flow. Sagittarians usually really love like New Year's energy. New Year, New You. You love new. You love beginnings. You love expansion. I feel like you're going to go in a good direction. From my Oracle deck, the first card that came out for you was Wisdom. And you did come out as the Hierophant and the Hermit. I feel like you guys will be moving into the new year thinking about all you've learned. You've become very wise in love and um, you're going to be using a lot of your own wisdom and own, own knowledge. I think you've transmuted a lot of knowledge into really important sage wisdom at this time. Also, Abundance came out. No matter what's going on in your life, you do feel abundant. She does look like the Queen of Wands here in her red dress, holding the fox, surrounded by animals, surrounding by beauty and abundance. Some of you will be spending quite a bit of time out in nature, despite the weather. I think you're feeling abundant. You may be experiencing a time of abundance, financially in particular, but that's just really important to you. Wisdom and abundance, that's really beautiful. I also have balance at the bottom of the deck. You are in a place of balance. Things are really balanced for you right now. Feeling very wise, feeling very balanced, feeling very abundant. Your challenger catalyst is peace. As temperance, you do mean peace. You are the angels that walk among us. I call you my angels, my Sagittarius angels. You're wanting peace in your life. You're looking for peace in your life. And it has been hard because the Three of Swords is here. But the wheel is here. You're playing out a lot of cycles and you are open to new possibilities in love. You may be experiencing some daydreamy energy, a bit of confusion. You may be thinking about the cycles you've played out. There has been heartbreak in the past, very much so. So I'm kind of shifting my spreads. I never know what kind of spread I'm going to use from one sign to the next. And they just said, do you and do a person over here and then clarify with some oracle cards. So right now, Sagittarius, you're in the energy of crocodile as well. This is emotional intelligence. You might be cooling off a bit. You might be kind of lying in wait, silently observing at this time. I really like that crocodile came out for you. You're in calm, still waters. You're also experiencing zebra energy but you're experiencing it in the reverse. Some of you feel a little pouty right now. Zebra is very unique and very original. It's almost like an Aquarius energy where we focus on what makes us us, what makes you you. I think right now you might be feeling like you just need to sit and watch and wait and see who will observe who you truly are as a person. Don't forget that you are a unique person. I do sense a bit of like a withdrawn energy and a bit pouty, maybe feeling like others around you aren't noticing what makes you special. I notice what makes you special. It's just a thing. It's just momentary because the direction you're going is like, F it, whole new me, whole new year. I'm going to have fun. And I really like that for you. So in the recent past, your energy was the Queen of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, and the Hierophant. You could have been connecting to a Taurus. Perhaps you have Earth or Taurus in your chart. If you identify as the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like there was a time recently that you're recalling right now where you might have been in a serious commitment, where you really might have played by the book and played by the rules, and you were very accepted by, accepted by your family and society at large, or this is a person you were connected to possibly marriage, the way others saw you and being very practical and grounded and being part of something greater than yourself was very, very important to you. And it may still be. Why would it not be? 
I clarified this though when I got the Queen of Wands. Here you are. The Queen of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, but the Three of Cups. You know, recently, Sag, despite how practical and dependable and play by the book and play by the rules and how important everybody saw you was, there was always you underneath. This badass bitch with her red dress and her black cat. Yes. You cannot tie a Sagittarian down. In Queen Energy, which, which creates a passionate environment, with the Queen of Wands and the Three of Cups, some of you could have been exploring a relationship outside of a marriage, but that's not going to be true for all of you. That's only true if that resonates for you. It's like, it's like um, during the day you were one way, but deep within you always wanted to have fun. I'm not saying this is like a wild energy, but like you might have been, a, you may be and have always been kind of passionate and a ringleader with your friend circle. You've always wanted to have a lot of fun. Or this was a person you were connecting to, maybe. I'm reading this is all you. Five of Pentacles and Five of Cups. Despite what you looked like on the surface and what we were seeing underneath, a part of you always felt a little left out in the cold and disappointed by some things. Maybe your connections, maybe your friendships. It just wasn't quite enough in the past. Your current energy is the Three of Wands, the Hermit, and the Ten of Cups. This Three of Wands just follows you people around everywhere. It is one of your cards. What do we say about it? What dreams may come? Always on the horizon line is Sagittarius focused. You're very future focused people. Your planet dictates that for you. It can be a little overwhelming and distracting, but thinking a lot about the future right now, really trying to turn your back on the past. I see that some of you have Virgo energy within you or around you. See if Virgo is in any of your houses or your planetary placements. That's a part of your life might, right now that might be really impacting your love life and the way you look at love. I see you searching your soul. Here's that wisdom. Here's that peace, wanting peace. And also feeling a lot of emotional stability. If you have a family, you feel good about it. You're thinking about the future. You know, because COVID is still impacting us, and I've noticed a lot of resurgence of cases, some of you are thinking about the future and when you'll get to be with family again and loved ones again. When you look on the horizon line, you're very stoic and you think about all that you've learned. And I think that you really are focused on happy endings and love and stability in your life. You may feel as though the perfect place or relationship for you is not close by, but at a distance from you, even far away, but you can still see it. It's like when you look to the horizon line and you search your soul, you know that there's going to be happy endings, time with family, time with friends, a beautiful place to live, a beautiful relationship. And I clarify deeper down and I have the sun, the four of cups, the ace of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. Some of you are looking for a new job. It's interesting because I, I really like this. It's like you guys can't help but have an optimistic, sunny disposition. Fire signs are usually that way. You guys have like a, like a temper, but ultimately like you won't let any gloom get the best of you. You may have a Leo in your life as well or Leo in your chart. I think deep down you try to be optimistic, but some stuff still bugs you. There are days right now where you're going to be like, meh, at the beginning of January. You're happy, but it's like, eh. And the Ace of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles, some of you are more focused on career right now and growing your abundance. The one plus nine equals 10. Maybe wanting this emotional stability and a karmic empire in the future, but you'll start with yourself. And it won't always be easy, but that optimism will get you through. Your near future, I'm like, <laughs> at a boy, at a girl, sad. You're just gonna get back in the saddle and be a true Sagittarius. It's like you're not gonna let this pout, you know, get in your way. It might make you a little fiery. Yeah, you're like, I'm gonna want some attention. I'm gonna get it because in the near future, we have the Knight of Wands, the Fool, and the Queen of Wands. Here she is. It's like you're gonna wear the red dress out in public. I see fun. I see passion. I see excitement. I see not a care in the world with the Aries energy, like F it, whole new year, whole new me. I'm going out, I'm getting dressed up. I'm independent, I'm a badass. I can be the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands at the same time. I might be a little older and a little wiser, 
but I can still fit into that dress <laughs> is what I see here. Or some of you will connect with a fire sign that matches your energy. Committal, no, but carefree, lighthearted, recapturing originality and your true you and a happiness, even a naivety and a passion. I think that's really great. That's what's in the near future. And I clarified it and I got the two of wands, the ace of cups and the three of cups. My, my, we are looking for love, looking for love in all corners. And I think you have a good attitude. You're not moping about it. You're not, you're not like the mopey queen of cups. I don't see the devil here. I see fun, lighthearted happiness. And the wheel is here. So has there been heartbreak? Yeah, and a bummed out feeling? Well, there is a sadness underneath here. Moving into the middle of January, you may have more of a mopey feeling. Don't let yourself get lost in a daydream. Don't cheat yourself or kid yourself here with the seven of swords underneath. But you're just going to go with the flow. Yep, there's the Knight of Wands. You're going to get passionate. You're going to get back in that saddle of the fire energy. You're definitely looking for love. So I did, I pulled out some cards to see if there's anybody around you at this time. Well, I got a lot of knights and I got some kings. <laughs> Four cards came out for someone in your energy. Now things could be opposite and the roles could be reversed because I had queens coming out over here and kings over here. So you could be either or both, you know. We have both masculine and feminine. Someone in your energy sees themselves as or connected to, I'm seeing it as this person, king of cups. Here's the fool. They match your energy of the fool. Strength and the four of wands. This person is a very emotional person. They could be a Cancer or a Scorpio or a Pisces, but they don't have to be that sign. They're very mature. They're a very emotional person. They too, like you, are the fool. Just trying to be lighthearted, new year, go with the flow. They may have been through some difficult things because they're exhibiting strength of character and they may hold back. They may want a homecoming with you. They may have recently gotten a new pet as well. Possibly someone had a baby. They're thinking of a child in their life. <sighs> they have times where they feel very mature and strong, but also childlike themselves. Based on my other cards here, I can see that they may want a homecoming with you. This may be a person that you want to travel to see. And despite what they say or do, they're only willing to go so far. I just want you to know that. The way they feel about you is the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands. My, my. First of all, this is a very romantic, creative person. This person may at times seem a little younger than you. It's like they have some strength of character and maturity, but the way they feel is a bit more passionate, rebellious, excited, and also very charming and creative. They may have a very dreamy side to them. They may say they might be great and bad, but they don't stick around all the time. They want passion. They want to rebel. They want to recapture something that maybe they've almost lost that's really beautiful and romantic and youthful even. Their action towards you, Sagittarius, though this could be coming in for you right now or in the future, maybe around Aries season, but maybe before that, maybe it's now, you know, I meant for current energy, but time is fluid. The way they feel about you is the two of wands. Well, you're the two of wands and this person is the two of wands. So there's a mutual attraction. You're both kind of standing still trying to pick a path to move forward. Neither one of you are going to do anything other than stay in the energy of the fool. You may really inspire this person in more ways than one because they think about having a breakthrough with you. Now, when I get the Ace of Swords and the Page of Cups, that can be a reconciliation and an apology. So it could be a person from your past. If they have water in their chart, Aries or strength, I just heard some of them are with an Aries or a Leo, but they really want to talk to you. They really want to talk to you. They have something emotionally to open up to you about. They feel like when they talk to you, they have clarity and you may help them figure out how to move forward onto their next path in life. They may want to do something with you or towards you, but deep within their deeper feelings about you, Sag, are the Knight of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles and the King of Wands. Well, we got two Kings and two Knights here. There could be a lot of people in your life, some younger, some older. We could be seeing different aspects of the same person or a few different people. This is their deeper feelings for you. Like you, they have a lot of passionate fire energy on a deep level. They are a grand visionary person. They're highly creative. It's difficult to get the king and queen of wands to commit, but they have a heart just like the king and queen of cups. 
They're visualizing long-term success. They're a very passionate person. But with the Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles, this person will move slowly. They won't step outside of a comfort zone. They like to move slowly and methodically. And they do want to build and learn and grow. They may like to get your attention quite a bit. So this could be a struggle for the two of you because you both like a lot of attention probably. They may not put that foot forward, but that's what they want. I think they are inspired by you and want to match your energy. On the surface, they're going to be a little bit more romantic and passionate. They definitely think they might be on to something with you. But deep within, they will actually be more methodical because they want their energy to be just as passionate as yours and probably somewhat sustainable with this Knight of Pentacles. But you've had heartbreak up until now, so just watch for repetitive cycles playing out. If you focus on the right things for the right reasons, then good luck is on your side. I like this fun, lighthearted energy for you and keeping your options open. Just focus on the peace that you have and continue to create more. You've gained so much wisdom. You're focused on abundance, focused on the peace, focused on balance. Only move towards partnerships that can get you out of a pouty energy that Zebra and Reverse has. And I mean, because this is kind of quiet and still and cooling off, you might be trying to just move on from this person because I noticed the Fool and the Knight of Wands are pointed the other way. The Three of Wands is pointed the other way. And this person's kind of pointed at you. Maybe they need to figure themselves out a little bit more and you might not like that. You might be just holding back from them. But I like the emotional intelligence and I do like the energy of Zebra. It means you're really in touch with your unique qualities. You just need someone to see you for who you truly are. My cute little zebras. I love that. I was like, oh, they're zebras. All right, Sag, so that's the beginning of January for you for love. I hope this resonates with you. If it does, I hope it helps you. Check out the link to my newsletter, you guys. I've opened up all of my services to you guys, to my viewers and subscribers on YouTube that I do here and where I live. There are more. Um, services I have to offer you aside from tarot. Um, if you want to book a reading or any of my other counseling or coaching or astrology services, the link to the newsletter that explains them and my website are down in the description below. I'm always listening to the universe for you, Sag. Take care. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.